Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. The first card you've got is take the lead. So you've got a good idea, something going on. Uh, you can see there's this ball of fire over here. So something that's really groundbreaking in your mind. Um, and there is a need for you to uh, go for it. You, are, uh, you want to do something that involves other people. So this is about working with other people and establishing something brand new. Uh, and, you know, putting out your message really to, to the rest of the world. So some kind of project that you're working on. Or something that you're working on you want it to come into fruition and you want to put it out to the rest of the world and you need to take control of that situation you need to be the leader in this particular situation you've got the sadness and isolation card so you have been feeling very very despondent you can see this man's lying upside down over here and, you know, in a very, very fetal kind of position. So being very protective of yourself. Now, it's time for you to break free from that situation. Uh, this is the Three of Swords. So whatever has had you tied up in knots, uh, where there's been a lack of communication, where you've been isolated from everybody else, it seems like that's about to change. Um, you know, you can see rising up above. And you are being divinely guided. You are, it seems like that crown chakra is activated over there and you are going to be able to get over the situation. So that sadness and isolation is coming to an end. And it's coming to an end and you're going to be working with a lot of people over here. So where you have been You've got that three there, three of swords being sad and isolated and, um, you know, being um, almost thrown out of a group of people. You are now starting a brand new cycle over here where you'll be communicating with a lot of people and there might be a lot of travel that comes in for you there. Certainly, clarity and belief. This is the Ace of Cups, so um, the Ace of Swords, rather. Um, this is about uh, brand new beginnings, taking control, and transformation coming over there. So everything is in your hands. This transformation is in your hands. There's a breakthrough moment that comes in over here. This is also winning any kind of battle that you've been fighting. So if it's a legal battle or any kind of battle that you've been fighting, this is... Um, this is the breakthrough moment. This is an excellent card. This is a lot of power that comes in and big changes come in with this. This is the beginning of a brand new cycle, but you need to be very, very clear in how you speak and very, very clear on how you communicate. In the past, you've been trying to find your balance. This is uh, the two of pentacles. Uh, it looks like the Wheel of Fortune almost when you look at it. And this has been, you know, your finances have been up and down, it seems. There may have been a choice of jobs that you had to choose and you were not quite sure what to do. You've been waiting for divine timing. Uh, it looks like you've been waiting for, um, you know, uh, maybe signing contracts, uh, maybe starting something brand new. You wanted emotional fulfillment. There may have been some studying that you have been doing. And you're trying to get back you know, um, get back that balance as well. This is also maybe trying to make a decision about two jobs that are pending over here. So that's been on the cards. You've been looking for answers. You've got the Seven of Swords over here. So going and doing a lot of investigation, it seems like you've been doing a lot of research into this. You seem to be in two minds about something because you can see there are two heads over here and this woman's trying to, you know, um, rip the fabric of space over there almost to try and find the answers you've been going into um, maybe the divine as well and asking for answers over here now you've got the two of pentacles here as well as this being in two minds of something so there seems to be some kind of job or some kind of financial issue that you are um you know you have a little bit of doubt about and you're deciding about what to do so you're not quite sure and it seems like you are going and doing your research you know you're leaving no stone unturned now, going into the future, you've got that throat chakra here. So this clarity and belief card, which is the Ace of Swords, is talking about speaking your truth. And the throat chakra needs to be activated. You do need to communicate your ideas to everybody else and take on that leadership role. And this is going to come by communication. So this is about, uh, you know, uh, being very logical as well, um, being very clear about what you want to do and communicating those ideas very clearly as well. And you need to take that leap of faith. So don't have any self-doubt uh, take, um, you know, take a chance uh, because it seems like uh, this is a breakthrough moment in your life. Your things are about to change for you and change in a big way. And it's all up to you and how you bring this into your uh, experience as well. So you need to communicate. And it looks like that transformation is happening because you're leaving behind that sad, lonely um, life and you're going to be, you know, this is about going into the universe. So you're expanding into something great over there. The Three of uh, Rods is also a card of expansion, expanding your horizons there as well. So whatever, you know, wherever you've been facing isolation, 
uh, it looks like it's about to change and you're going to be surrounded by a lot of people very very soon a lot of travel as well coming in as well so i'm going to be doing uh using the uh kingdom within tarot this is a very introspective deck and i'm using it because it's the end of the year and it's a time that we usually review all our motives for the year and what we want for next year we start making plans uh, at this time of the year so this is a very very uh, nice deck in that sort of way Okay, so you've got the High Priestess over here at the bottom of the deck, the Empress, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups, which is generally your card over here. So you, it seems like you've made some kind of decision about what you want to do. You want to change your pathway in life. This is the Judgment card. So big changes coming and big endings coming. You can see them burning up everything over here. This is almost trial, uh, cleansing by fire over here in order for you to emerge from it. So all these people going into this furnace over here. It's a very weird card. All these people going into the furnace over here, but somebody is emerging and you can see butterflies coming out of that. So you're being asked to make a big change in your life. You're being asked to almost burn the past away and move forward and uh, you know and change it uh, in a big way take a different pathway in life get rid of the old so that's what you're being asked to this is Anubis and uh, you know this is about um, the death of the old and the beginning of something brand new we've got the king of cups which is your card over here and you can see um you know, this is uh, almost a uh, the, the green man. This is about prosperity coming in over here. So um, it looks like things are about to change for you over there. You're taking control of the situation. There might be somebody that's even guiding you around what you should be doing. Uh, there might be a changing home over there. Uh, but there's a lot more stability and growth coming in for you there with that King of Cups. And you've got the King of Pentacles over here. So this is the card of Capricorn. And you can see the focus is about career. Now things might seem like they're going pretty slowly. You've got this far the time sitting over there waiting for for uh you know divine timing to come in these clocks seem to be really warped and maybe you know your perception of how fast things should be moved moving is not quite how it should be uh, you've got pentacles also flying around over here so this is about change this is about timing uh he's got the sickle in his hand this is about cutting out the past as well but he's uh, riding this um tortoise and things might seem like they're going pretty slowly but know that you are progressing you're making progress so even though things don't seem to be going fast as, as you like money will come in uh you know uh, time is very fluid and this is about waiting for divine timing and not being too concerned about how fast or how quickly things should be moving. Um, you will manifest abundance because you've got the Empress card over here ruled by Venus. And this is about money coming in and the better life and, uh, you know, more independence, more finances, more stability coming in for you there. You've got high expectations. You've got, a big, you know, this pregnant woman over here. Uh, she's very, very pregnant there. So you have got a lot of plans that you want to get done and you need to focus on it. Um, and that will bring in the abundance. And then again, you've got the high priestess over here. And this is about waiting for divine timing. You can see the cycles of the moon over here she's giving birth to the tree of life and you've got that green man over here so you are about to embark on something that's going to be very prosperous and it's going to be uh, you know there's going to be a lot of growth and abundance that comes in over here but you do have to wait for divine timing over here and with this high priestess is trusting your in intuition trusting your experience and uh, there might be some kind of study that you might be you need to do as well there's something that you need to find out but go by your gut instincts about anything that you have to do as well and be patient. Just have a little bit of patience because it seems like things are about to turn for you and turn for the better, it seems. Now, what's happening with you? You've got that Ace of Pentacles. So this could be a new job. You suddenly have been putting out uh, your uh, application forms for a lot of jobs over there. You've got that Seven of Pentacles. Um, money has been very restricted as well because you've got Saturn there in Taurus. So you've had financial problems over there. And you've been waiting for these new jobs to come in over here. And it looks like you're going to get news about that. You're going to start something brand new. So divine timing is at place. Uh, you know, there might be even study, as I said, with this new job. But it looks like divine timing is in play over here. And whatever you've been applying for, it seems like there's that money coming in, new finances coming in for you there. 
So in the past, you've got that queen of wands over there. And this is about your independence, about, you know, focusing all your energies and efforts. You've got, uh, you know, Aries is about, uh, you know, yourself. So you have been focusing on yourself and you have been working very, very hard putting a lot of late hours and working very, very hard to make things happen. You've been uh, taking on some kind of leadership role as well. And people find you very, very uh, attractive in the sense that they want to communicate with you. They they feel that you're very, very dynamic as well. She's got this rabbit over here. So this is about whatever you're working on. You're working, keeping things very close to your chest. You're not telling everybody what you're doing, but you're taking control of that situation. And it's about to produce abundance for you. You've got the Ace of Cups over here. So you're entering a new cycle. At the moment, it seems like in the past you've been crying a lot or you've been very upset about something. <coughs> Excuse me. But it looks like this is about to change for you. There's a brand new emotional cycle that you're going to. So you'll be making a, a fresh start. It could be that you're buying a new home, um, maybe even taking a new course of study as well. That coming in for you there. Now, you've got the devil over here, so don't be negative about what you're doing. Uh, maybe you feel negative about the work that you're doing. You're feeling very restricted. This is a card ruled by Capricorn, so it's something to do with career as well. You've been trying to spread your wings, but you've been feeling very, very restricted. You may have been in a partnership that didn't work out for you. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, there was a lot of lies and deceit as well within this partnership. But it seems like, you know, you feel very, very negative about the, uh, everything. And you feel like you've been working very, very hard. Also, you feel very uh, manipulated within that uh, work situation that you have been in. So you are focused a lot on the money aspect of life. And it seems like, uh, you know, you're trying to make a change, make a breakthrough. And you're trying to communicate or start a new project. You've got the sun. So working very, very, very hard over here. You can see the dark mirror over there. You're leaving be that behind and clarity coming in for you. This is also a card of breakthrough. And this is a card of being successful at whatever it is you're doing. It's the sun. It's going to um, you know, shine on whatever aspect that you find uh, you want to focus on. And it's going to bring success there. He's riding a lion. So you need to be very, very strong. And you need to be very, very proactive as well. And you actually... You have to act with confidence um, and follow your own star. He's got that star in that on that wand. You are almost um, like a magician in this. You have all the strength and you are going to be very, very successful at, at it, what it is you're doing. But don't let negativity hold you back. That is very important. Be very positive. At the moment, you're feeling very despondent. You're feeling very insecure. Maybe you've had financial loss. This could have been a loss of a home. Maybe you've had to move out. Very poverty-stricken over here. But in the background, if you look, there is this shooting star. There's that ray of hope. It seems like the divine is guiding you. This is Mercury in Taurus, so thinking a lot about money. And it's not been a very, very positive thing that has been happening. Uh, like you, I said, this is the uh, Mary and Joseph card. And they're riding. The, she's riding a bull. So you do need to go where the money is. And it will come. Uh, and leave behind the past. So although you're going through what seems to be the winter of your life right now, it seems like things are about to change because you've got the sun coming in and this is a you know such a different card. It's the colors are so different. This is about gold coming in. It's, you, you're, this man is encased in gold almost. So it's going to be very successful. So all this um, you know despondency that you feel, this loss that you feel, this insecurity that you feel is about to change for you. But don't let negative feelings hold you back. You've got the page of swords and this looks like um We've got a decision to make. There seems to be uh, something brand new that is going to take you out of the winter of your life into the spring of your life. So messages coming in. You've got a lot of birds flying over there. Um, there might be new contracts as well. So this is almost like an ace of swords coming into your hand, power coming into your hand, and you have to take control of that situation. Um, you know, And the apple is almost like a new job being offered that's going to bring you a lot of wealth. Uh, coming in, but you have to be very proactive and be very, very firm and strict in how you, uh, you know, tell people what you want uh, to be done. So something brand new coming in, some kind of breakthrough coming in, and it's a message coming in as well. Now, you've got the Two of Swords. So you may have had some kind of breakdown of communication with somebody and maybe you're hoping that you can um, reconcile with this person. This is the card of being, uh, you know, reaching a truce or reaching some kind of harmony situation. There might have been legal dealings with this person as well. Um, maybe you're hoping... Uh, that that you can you know get back together with this person and that's in your hopes and fears. This person had a hidden agenda, so you know I, I would really think twice if um you know if I want to, if I were you about getting back together with this person. It seems like they've done uh, a little bit of a, a a nasty thing to you there. 
You can see this man's holding that uh, um, bandana off one of the eyes. So they seem to have had a hidden agenda. They may have made a fool, fool of you there. It might have been something to do with the family situation because you've got that castle in the background over there. So reconciling with them may not be the in your best interests. It might be just best to cut it out and walk away. And maybe they were the ones that caused um, you know, you to have uh, problems and financial loss or loss of security there. So maybe getting back together with them is not the best decision. You've got the Page of Cups over there, the Five of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. So with that Page of Cups there, uh, you can see this says the Trickster. So just be careful about any kind of, um, this is the Fairy Puck, and it's got the uh, you know energy of Scorpio on it. So just be careful. Uh, somebody is trying to pull the wool over your eyes. You can see Puck's got these two people asleep. So somebody's trying to deceive you there, and you know you should really be careful. Page of Cups bringing an apology, but it it may not be um, all it's cut out to be. So just be careful about reconciling with somebody, uh, because they do seem to have something hidden, and they are keeping something from you. Um, and you know they might. Um, be in that position where they, um, you know, it seems like they have something over you, where uh, some hold over you, where they can actually manipulate you, um, you know. And since this puck is sitting next to the devil, uh, it might be even a Capricorn person that you are dealing with uh, that might be saying things and, you know, you give in to them uh, and you don't see it for what it really is. But this is, uh, you know, a, a, a trickster. And um, just be careful about apologies. Review it very, very carefully before you accept any kind of apology that comes in. This person seems to have caused a lot of problems for you. You've got the Five of Swords over here. And because of this breakdown of this relationship, it seems like, you know, you ended up in almost like in hell because this woman's underground in uh, the underworld. And you can see there's a lot of fire and brimstone going on over there. So whatever this breakup of this relationship was, it was really nasty. Um, you know, they lied, they cheated, uh, and it caused you to isolate yourself from everybody, it seems. Uh, and, you know, there doesn't, didn't seem to be anybody that was there to even give you a helping hand. You were very emotional about the whole situation as well. These were sudden nasty changes that came in because you got Venus there in Aquarius. Uh, and, you know, it's uh, um, harsh, harsh communications, harsh changes uh, to do with, um, you know, love or this is the card of longing. It seems like, you know, you've had to be maybe you've been hoping that you can get back together with this person. But like I said, it might not be in your best interest because there seems to be so many swords there. If this was a divorce situation, it seems to have been a nasty separation. If it was a breakup, it seems like there was a lot of harsh words that were spoken. And there was a lot of conflict. So this might not be in your best interest to accept any kind of apology. They may come be coming back with an apology to you. But, um, you know, because of them, you've been through a lot. So, you know, think twice. And right now, even if they come back, they have some kind of hidden agenda. Like I said, they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Now, you've got the Eight of Wands coming in over here. And this is about, um, you know, things happening very quickly. So movement starting again. Um, you've got Mercury sitting in uh, Sagittarius. There might be some travel going on over there. Mercury is, uh, you know... Um, communication but Sagittarius is about expansion so this could be about uh, you know taking a trip taking a, you know traveling for your work situation over there there's something that you're not seeing so there needs there is a need for you to do some research as well and it's also a card about having faith that it will succeed. So messages coming in pretty quickly, a lot of travel. You're going to be very, very busy, a lot of talking to a lot of people. You might deal, be dealing with some difficult people as well. But as it says, it's a fleeting force. So, you know, whatever problems that come your way, if there's any problems that come, it's only going to be something temporary and you're going to be able to sort it out. You need to be acting with confidence and, uh, you know, take that leap of faith. Um, but soon you're going to be pretty busy. You might even be traveling as well with that. There's a lot of communication, a lot of travel coming in with that. So things are about to change for you. You're going through a new cycle over there. as a brand new job. It might be a new job in a new country or it could be new money that comes in somehow. Um, and, uh, you know, you have been applying for that. You will get that news and, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of movement that comes in. And like I said, you might even be signing new contracts, needing to cut out the past, needing to make a decision pretty quickly as well with that page of swords. Um, you know, and uh, it looks like it's a new job offer that comes in. But it's going to take you out of this Five of Pentacles energy, which is the energy of feeling lack, um, you know, of feeling uh, insecure as well. I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. 
So the first card is the Solutions card, um, and this is a major arcana card. So success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. So this is about, um, you know, you need to be very, very objective, and you have to have a little bit of patience as well, and success will come your way. The Temperance card is about achieving that balance, and it is being um, guided um, so you've got new beginnings over here as well. So uh, this is the uh, judgment card. This is a change of direction, starting a new life, finding your purpose and forgiving a, a compassionate review of the past. So there's an, a need for you to let go of the past and move on. And maybe a need for you to even, uh, you know, uh, not expect reconciliation because it doesn't seem like it's in your best interest. It's time for you to make a decision and move on in a different pathway move on your true pathway over there because it seems like people that you've been dealing with in the past have been deceptive and it seems like you know about that as well now you've got the page of Ariel. this is news about a job an excellent opportunity that will be offered to you scholarships on or the pursuit of education time to get to work so new money coming in and you will get news about this with this page of Ariel. like i said there could be some study or learning coming in because you've got that uh, high priestess. Maybe you're becoming an expert or you're specializing in whatever it is you're doing, but certainly some good news coming in over here. Maybe even a chance for you to do some further education or some refresher course as well. So you've got that Ace of Pentacles as well as the Page of Ariel over here. So this is about brand new beginnings as far as the finances go and opportunities coming your way. And so don't be negative about it. Grab any opportunity that comes because it's a chance for you to make uh, a new beginning and start a new path a new journey and this is your divine destination it seems so i do hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye